Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing Mega Draft again, so if you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be trying to help you guys get really good at this mode. I'm just going to go for the Fireball first pick here. I'm taking Fireball because there's a bunch of win conditions that pair really well with Fireball, and none of them really pair that good with Poison, so I'm going to take the Fireball. He goes for the Phoenix. I think he might take the Monk as well. Monk would be a really good choice. Okay, he goes for the Arrows. I think I want to make a Log Bait deck, but I or a Drill deck. I kind of want to make a Drill deck. I'm just going to take the log here. Log will help with any win condition that I want. And I think I also want to take the Ice Spirit here. Because Ice Spirit is just really solid in all the decks. Ice Spirit is just a really broken card to be honest. And I always like to take it. I could even make like a Royal Hog deck. There's no Bomb Tower or anything like that. I don't even know what he would go for. Maybe like a Royal Hogs. Maybe, yeah, maybe like, yeah, Mega Knight Royal Hogs is looking kind of good from him. Could go for like... Okay, he might make an RG deck. And this, you really need to look at what your opponents can take. And you kind of want to put yourself in their shoes and see what they would make when you look at their cards. I think he's going for a Royal Hogs Mega Knight. Or just maybe Royal Hogs and no Mega Knight. He definitely took Ghost, thinking I'm going to take Drill. I'll just take the Inferno Dragon here. Inferno Dragon's the best counter to Monk in the game, in my opinion. As long as they don't have, like, Zappies or Ewas. And there's no Zappies or Ewas. And I took the Ice Spirit as the only reset besides Lightning. But you can't just Lightning an Inferno Dragon just because it's killing your Monk. It's way too much. An Inferno Dragon doesn't even die to Lightning. I'll take the E-Barbs here as well. E-Barbs are really solid against the Monk. Just because the E-Barbs kill it pretty quickly. He takes the Lightning. I guess he might be going for an Electro Giant deck, actually. Or Electro Giant or Royal Giant deck. I think E-Giant, though, just because he still wouldn't really be able to kill everything. And I have too many RG counters. He goes for the E-Giant right now. Honestly, I think I want to go for the Goblin Barrel and maybe even a Furnace... I'm going to take Goblin Barrel, though. I'm, yeah, I'm going to take Furnace and Goblin Barrel. Furnace is going to be super good against him. There's no good Furnace counters in his deck, and there's nothing that really works in his deck that is good against Furnace. He's not going to take Poison since he already has Lightning, so Furnace should get a ton of value. I feel like Furnace will be MVP in this game. And then I'm just going to take Barrel here and just see what he takes, and then I'll pick my last card depending on what he chooses. Let's just see. I think he might go for, like, Goblin just because they're a cheap counter to Goblin Barrel, and maybe, like... He might even take, like, hmm, Electro Dragon, maybe, to have a reset for my Inferno Dragon. But then his deck would be really heavy. I'm thinking, like, Electro Dragon, maybe, like, a Cannon Cart, a Dark Prince. Okay, he goes for a Cannon Cart. I think I'm going to take Dark Prince here, just because I only have one Ground Card, and he has Royal Ghost, Monk, E-Giant, and Cannon Cart. And I need another Ground Card, and all the other Ground Cards, like, Knight isn't really that aggressive. Golden Knight I could do, but... I feel like Dark Prince will be a, a little bit more solid against everything. Golden Knight's kind of weak after the nerf that it got, to be honest. It doesn't really dash onto many things anymore. Okay, just going to start off the game with a Furnace here. Can never go wrong with just setting up a Furnace against a deck like his. He doesn't have any good way to kill it. He goes for the Phoenix on it, and now I'm just going to Ice Spirit to counter the Phoenix. A very nice Ice Spirit there. The Phoenix isn't going to hit my Furnace at all, besides with the death damage. And he only got to counter two Fire Spirits with it, and that was a 5 for 4. He has to Royal Ghost. Okay, I'm just going to go for a Dark Prince here for the Ghost and the Goblins. I don't want anything to get any damage on my tower. Dark Prince is going to be nice here because he's also going to have to defend it again or else it's going to get like a charged hit on the tower. Goes for the Cannon Cart. I'm just going to go for the Inferno Dragon on it. I want to put it early, but not like too down the center where he could E-Giant on it. And re really nice Inferno Dragon there. He has to defend it. I'm just going to go for my E-Barbs at the bridge maybe. Actually, no. I'll just set up with a Furnace again. He's probably going to kite it opposite lane, so... I'm going to go for Furnace on the right. Nice, perfect. I'm going to E-Barbs at the bridge here too since he wasted the Monk. He doesn't have anything for these. He just goes for the Lightning, but E-Barbs still get good damage against the Lightning. One, two. T two hits is great. Okay. No way he abilities. What? Why did you ability? <laughs> I'm just going to activate my King Tower here. That's a really nice King Tower activation. And my Fire Spirit's going to jump again. This is such a good start. And I guess it's showing how good Furnace is when they don't have anything to counter it really. He doesn't even have any cheap cards to just block it. He only has goblins, but he needs goblins for my goblin barrel because obviously I outcycle his arrows when his deck has like a bunch of tanky cards. I'm just going to Inferno Dragon in the corner here, and then I can just go for my Dark Prince on the Ghost. I'm going to Furnace here to pull the E-Giant away from the Inferno Dragon, and then my Inferno Dragon is going to kill it, and he's going to have to respond to the Furnace again. This is looking so good for me. I'm going to Barrel here on the right, try to force out the arrows. Okay, he goes for goblins. I'll just go for my log here to make sure that the Inferno Dragon can clear up the Cannon Cart. 
I'm getting some really good damage as well on the left side. I might even be able to switch lanes. I'm going to get two more Fire Spirit jumps unless he responds. That's going to put it down to like 2,000 health. I'll just go for my Ice Spirit here on the right. <laughs> I know he's getting so annoyed at the Furnace. I'm just going to go for my Furnace again here. It's really nice that as soon as it dies, I'm back to a new one. Uh, <laughs> what were those arrows? He missed the Fire Spirit. I'm just going to go for my Inferno Dragon in the back here. Completely shut down the Monk. And then I'll just go for my Barrel here on the left. I think I want to switch lanes here. I'll go for my Dark Prince here in the middle to counter the Ghost and the Monk. Inferno Dragon is getting so much value this game. Inferno Dragons and Inf Furnace are the two best cards in here. I'm just going to go for my Furnace here towards the left to keep shipping him out. And then I'll just go for an Inferno Dragon here because I know that he doesn't have a Tornado. So there's no way for him to get the Inferno Dragon off. I'm just going to Ice Spirit here and then I'll go for my Barrel. E-Giant is hitting the Inferno Dragon back, so kind of a mistake by me. I should have put it one more over. I'll go E-Barbs here on the Cannon Cart, and I'll go for Dark Prince in front of my Inferno Dragon. He can't stop this. There's actually no way he does. I'll just Inferno Dragon here to kill his Phoenix, and he's going to have to respond to the Inferno Dragon. Oh! He, he messed up the Monk! And that's game. He doesn't have he doesn't have Phoenix in cycle. He can't afford Lightning, and that's going to take the whole tower. <laughs> Let's go. I played that matchup super well, I feel like. I didn't really give him any opportunities for anything other than that one bad Inferno Dragon I did. I'm against this guy here. I think I'm just going to take the Monk first card. There isn't really that many cards that are good against Monk in here besides Inferno Dragon, but there is Ice Spirit Musketeer on the board, and there isn't very many spells, so I feel like Monk is... I need Monk to make up for the lack of spells that are on the board. And I also kind of want to make a bait deck, so if I trick him into taking Fireball, Fireball is not very good against Log Bait, especially when you only have Fireball or like Fireball Zap. Everyone knows that Fireball Zap is super bad against Bait. So I'm kind of trying to make a bait deck here. Let's see what he takes here. He might take like the Tornado or the Inferno Dragon. Just because Inferno Dragon is really good against the Monk. That's what people usually do. Yeah, he goes for the Inferno Dragon here. I think I'm just going to go for the Tornado. Just because Tornado is really good against Bait. And then I'll go for the Musketeer as well. Musketeer is really good against Inferno Dragon. And also, he has no way to finish off the Musketeer because he only has Fireball. And if he takes Zap, then he's kind of like dead against Bait. Fireball Zap just sucks against Bait. And I kind of want the Ice Spirit here, to be honest. He goes for the Goblin Hut. Goblin Hut was really smart because I don't have any spell to kill it, but I also feel like that he won't really be getting to use his Goblin Hut much if I pressure him really good, so I'm not really worried about the Goblin Hut. He goes for the Royal Delivery. That was really strange. I don't know about that. I'm just going to go for the Ice Spirit here. Ice Spirit's really good. I don't want him to take it either. It'll just help me cycle pretty quick. And then I'm going to take the Bomb Tower. The Bomb Tower, I feel like, is the only decent card in here against the Goblin Hut. I can just place the Bomb Tower every time for the Goblin Hut, and I should be, like, somewhat okay. I think it's worth it to take the Bomb Tower, and it will also help defend, like, because it kind of looks like he's trying to make a Royal Recruit stack, so I kind of shut down a Royal Recruit stack. Uh, he goes for Lava Hound. I guess th th it makes sense. There's no more air cards on the board. I only have Musketeer, but I think I kind of want Minion Horde. Minion Horde, he can't really kill it on my side of the map besides Fireball, but then how does he kill the Musketeer? Yeah, I'm going to take Goblin Barrel here. I'm not going to take... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go Goblin Barrel, Skelly Barrel right now. I don't want to take Minion Horde um, in this pick, because if I take Minion Horde in this pick, then he'll know. So then, kind of here, he has to either think that I have Minion Horde, and he has to prepare for it. I know that one of his picks are going to be Zap, because he needs something for the Skeleton Barrel, but... Fireball Zaps doesn't really that good, and he doesn't have any support cards for his Lava Push, and I also feel like oh, I have too much bait cards. He goes for Skeleton King. Skelly King was a good choice, because I don't really have, like, a Valkyrie or anything like that, and Goblin Hut will help feed a Skelly King. And then he goes for the Zap. I knew he was going to take Zap. I'll just go for the Minion Horde here. I think Minion Horde will get quite a lot of value in this matchup. I feel like I, I can win this. I can definitely win this, especially since I'm a good bait player. I'm just going to go for Ice Spirit Barrel here first play. He has Royal Delivery Fireball, so I'm not really expecting get, to get any damage. Yeah, I'll just go for my Skelly Barrel here on the right. And then I'll go for my Bomb Tower for the Goblin Hut. I'm just hoping he doesn't have Zap here and he has to overcommit. That would be really nice. Okay, he has Zap. <laughs> I was just hoping that he didn't. But I still get like a bit of damage on the tower. Bomb Tower is going to clean up the Goblin Hut pretty nicely. He might even like try to start up a push, but I feel like it would be kind of bad. Okay. It wouldn't be bad in that, like, I can punish him. I think I would just defend it really easily. I'm just going to go for Monk here. I'm going to put it right now. Nice. You can always retarget the Miner when it's in that position, by the way. So, you don't have to respond to it straight away. I didn't because I wanted to see that if he'd let me get the Tornado. Wait, I'm going to Minion Horde at the bridge here and predict his Fireball with the Monk ability. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, I'm going to Ice Spirit Barrel because he's going to roll delivery. <laughs> Let's go. 
He has to zap, and then I'm just gonna Skelly Barrel. Yo, this guy just got destroyed. Wait, I'm gonna uh, Skelly Barrel here. And then he's, oh, he only has Skeleton King, and then I can Minion Horde again on top of the Skelly King. And then he'll have to like, he'll have to do like a Goblin Hunt in the middle, and then I can go for Goblin Barrel, and he won't be able to afford his Royal Delivery. Wait, this guy actually just got played right now. <laughs> no way, yeah, okay, he Goblin Hunts, and then I'm just gonna Barrel. He doesn't have Zap. He, and then he can't afford Royal Delivery, so he just has to sit there and take all that damage. <laughs> this guy just got outplayed so hard. From the second he fireballed, I just <laughs> I knew that he was dead. Let's go. From now on, I just need to defend. He's probably going to go for a lava push, and I think I'm going to be able to get the tower whenever he tries to make that push. The only problem is that I don't have a big spell, so I can't exactly finish off his tower. He goes for a Lava Hound in the back, so I'm just going to go for a Musketeer here. I'm going to need to cycle multiple Musketeers on defense. Inferno Dragon behind Lava is going to be an issue, but I think I can be okay if I do like a Defensive Skeleton Barrel. Defensive Skeleton Barrel should be nice because it will distract the Inferno Dragon for a decent bit. I'm not going to waste my Minion Horde here. I'm just going to Monk to try to catch the Miner. Nice. I'm going to go for my Barrel here. And I think he's going to have to Zap on the Barrel. I'll just go for my Musketeer all the way back here just to kill the Lava Pups, and I don't want to give him any Fireball value. Yeah, my Musketeer is getting so much value right now. I'm just going to go for my Tornado here on the Skeleton King ability. Also help, uh... Wait, what? <laughs> what was that Fireball? I'm just going to go for the, the Double Barrel here. He doesn't have Delivery or Fireball. Even if he hit the Musketeer with that Fireball, it wouldn't have done anything. I'm just going to Monk at the Bridge here and Tornado the Spear Goblins. And then Ability should finish off the Tower. I'm going to Ice Spear here just to freeze it as well. I don't really need to, but I just want to finish off the Tower. And yeah, it's tower. I'm just going to minion horde here on top of the skelly king. There isn't even enough time for him to take my tower. I'll just go for the bomb tower here just to distract the skeletons. Just in case that would have taken my tower. I think it would have if I didn't actually put that bomb tower down. But th that was a really nice win. I won just off of the monk ability. That's why monk is so good. <laughs> okay, I'm in the next game here against this guy. I'm just going to take the archer queen. I'm taking the archer queen here because there's no monk on the board. And there's also no lightning, no poison logs. So there's no really combos that can kill it. He takes the Fireball and the Barb Barrel. He's probably going to go for like a Flying Machine Royal Hogs deck. So I'm going to take the Miner and I'm also going to take Goblins. The reason I took Miner and Goblins was because Goblins are the best counter to Miner. So I kind of want to have them. And Goblins are also going to get a lot of value with not having like arrows or log on the board. He does go for the Flying Machine. I kind of assumed that he would take it. He goes for the Ice Spirit. I think I just want to have Bomb Tower already. I don't want to, I kind of want to shut down his idea of making like a Royal Hogs deck. Kind of need to. I'm going to get Snowball though, just so I can have some kind of small spell. I feel like this will be my only spell. I don't want Rocket or Earthquake. Maybe Royal Delivery could be good actually. But I'm going to go for the Bomb Tower here first. Just kind of react to what he takes. First pick is really broken in this. When you get the first pick, you kind of dictate the pace. And also you get the last pick. So last pick, you can kind of throw him off guard. He goes for Golden Knight and Lumberjack. I think he's going to make a Ram Rider deck then. Yeah, he's probably trying to make a Bridge Bam deck. I think I want Giant Skeleton or else... I'm going to get Inferno Dragon though. So now he definitely won't take Giant Skeleton. I think maybe I'll take it. Giant Skeleton should be pretty good. But I'm going to get Wall Breakers first. And no way he takes Giant Skelly since I have Inferno Dragon. And I think last card I just want Giant Skeleton. I don't have a mini tank yet, and I feel like Giant Skeleton will be really nice helping against the Lumberjack and the Golden Knight. Nice. I feel like I have a pretty nice matchup here. Princess could be pretty annoying because I do only have Snowball. That was a smart choice by him, but Princess doesn't really fit in his deck at all, so I think I'm good. He goes for Ice Spirit, so I'll just split my Goblins here to counter the Ice Spirit. Okay, I'm just going to go for my Archer Queen in the back since he went for the Princess in the back. He might try to Fireball. But I'll just split my wall breakers in the middle to, to distract the princess. Yeah. I'll split my wall breakers here. Make him defend the one on the right. And then I can just use my archer queen ability to kill the princess. Okay. He tries to bar bro, but that's going to leave it on 1 HP. I'll just pop the ability here and kill the princess. I don't know why he let the one wall breaker connect. That was kind of weird. Oops. I didn't mean to put my miner all the way back there. <laughs> it's okay though. Goes for the ice spirit. I still get one hit. I'll just go for my inferno dragon in the back here. Actually... I'm going to Inferno Dragon on the Princess. I was going to Giant Skelly because if I went for my Inferno Dragon in the back, I'd have to respond to it again since he used the ability. He goes for Flying Machine. Oh, he messed it up. Wait, okay. I'm going to go Giant Skelly here. He has to Fireball. He, I think he just lost. I'm going to Wall Breakers here. Make him use his Barb Barrel. Yep. And then I'm going to Goblins behind the Giant Skeleton. He doesn't have any Elixir. He can only afford an Ice Spirit. I'm going to Miner with it too. He's going to try and Princess to kill the Goblins. But oh, wait. Nice. 
And then the giant skelly's on tower. I think that's game. I'm going to snowball the princess as well just to get some extra damage from my miner. Let's go. He's already at 800 HP. This is perfect. <laughs> this guy completely messed up. Honestly, I didn't really do anything special. He just messed up his flying machine, so he had to respond to my Inferno Dragon with a fireball. I think that I would have won this either way. Just because of the matchup that I have, I feel like I outdrafted him. That's the thing with this mode. It's more about like drafting better than them than it is playing better than them. Because if you draft worse than them, you're kind of already at a disadvantage and you'll probably lose. Okay, I'm just going to go for my giant skelly here on this. I think he thought I was going to do more, but yeah, that's game. <laughs> Very nice win there. And I guess, yeah, he gave up. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.